Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with our teaching. We got a prophetic sound bite for you this morning. We've been in our series of taking dominion through spiritual and natural laws. So let's go straight into our teaching today. This is number four of our 10 spiritual laws for taking dominion. Number one, we talked about the law of spirit of life in Christ. Number two, we talked about the, the law of sowing and reaping. Number three, we talked about the law of time and dash management. And today we're going to be talking about the law of faith. I've emphasized to you, if you want to have good success in this life, you need to put these laws to work for you. You need to employ these laws to work for you. So the law of faith. First, let's answer the question, what is faith? Because 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So what is he really saying? I'm going to be guided and led by what I believe, not by what I see because what I see is held up by the word of God and I want to operate in the spirit world. So I'm going to start with the word so I can use the word to create the same way our father has created. So what is faith? It's an invisible spiritual force. The things that are seen are not made of the things which do appear. It's an invisible spiritual force, but trust me, my friends, it is a force. It's the product of a recreated, born-again spirit. In order to enter the kingdom, you must be born again. It's the invisible power of the word of God to create physical things. Let me say that again. The invisible power of the word of God to create physical things, all right? It's a heavenly receiving and knowledge system. You need to learn to receive from God and we need to learn, know how to learn from God, okay? So he's got to receive knowledge from heaven. It's a belief and a trust in the finished work of Christ and the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit right? Let's establish the law of faith. Where are you coming from with this, Pastor? Let's look at Romans 3, 27, 31. Where is the boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of what? Faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified, how? By faith, without the deeds of the law, right? Let's continue. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision, what? By faith and the uncircumcision through what? Through faith, everything come back to faith. Do we make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we what? We establish the law through faith in Christ, right? Again, the law definition, what is required to function in accordance with Yahweh's original design standard to govern and regulate behavior. What did Christ have to say on the law? Matthew 5 and 17, think not, I have come to destroy the law. Other prophets, I have come to, to what? Not to destroy, but to what? Fulfill. He didn't come to destroy the law. He came to what? To fulfill the law. Yahweh on the law. Hebrews 10 and 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws where? Into their hearts and in their minds will I write them. That's why these laws are so important. God 
wants to write on your heart. So these laws are good for us. They're designed to protect us, okay? You came here for the truth. I've unveiled that for you. May God bless you and keep you till we have the opportunity to bring you another word. God